Hey Credit Warriors, we are on the road again and I hate crossing New York City in the morning rush hour, so for morning flights I generally stay in a hotel at JFK. This time we booked the Hilton for 48,000 Hilton points for one night. I checked in through the app and picked a room on the 6th floor but later received a notification that I'd been moved up to the 10th floor, a Hilton Honors floor, because of my gold status. I used the digital key so you don't even need to go to the desk when you arrive, just go straight to the room. And let's check it out. The room we got had two queen beds, the usual bedside table arrangement, a modest sized TV, questionable art on the walls, this comfy chair that apparently sits two people. Hey daddy! Hello daddy! What are you doing? Well, I have to sit there too? Seriously? Water and the usual coffee maker. The closet had the usual ironing kit and a safe, useful for your passport. But perhaps there was another safe. I don't know what this is. I'm kind of intrigued by it. Is it like another another secret safe? I don't know. We used a digital key, so we don't have a key for it. And it seems like it doesn't open anyway, so I guess that'll just be a mystery. Now let's look at the bathroom, which is nothing to write home about, but has everything you need, including questionable art a bathtub with a shower, and a nice big mirror above the basin. Could have done with two basins though. And speaking of the wash basin, what was Hilton thinking with this faucet? It is too far away from the sink, so when it's on a low setting, the water doesn't even reach the sink and drips everywhere. Oh well. Well guys, we are at the Hilton at JFK Airport. Uh, so I've now stayed at both the Hilton properties here, the Hampton Inn and the Hilton. Uh, this is quite a bit nicer than the Hampton Inn. They're both right next to each other. So Hampton Inn, it's a bit cheaper. I think it's like 40,000 Hilton points a night. This one is 48,000 uh, Hilton points per night. And uh, the room's a little nicer. It's still a little bit of an old hotel though, um, because obviously, you know, New York, well, a lot of East Coast cities, you know, the infrastructure is old, but you know, it, it's um, a little bit more luxurious than the Hampton Inn here, definitely. And to get this hotel, I transferred over 14,000 points from uh, American Express. They were doing a special deal. 1,000 Amex points to 3,000 Hilton points and I already had about 6,000 in my account so I only needed 14,000 Amex points to make up uh, that to get this, uh, to get 48,000 Hilton points. And uh, the Amex points, I earned them from doing referrals for the gold card, the new gold card. Um, so very successful. Uh, got a hotel and I've still got like 60,000 Hilton uh, Amex points in my account uh, to use on something in the future. This hotel has kind of okay views of the airport and it looks nice in the morning when you get up early for your free shuttle bus to JFK. The service runs every half an hour and takes about 10 minutes to Terminal 1 and probably up to about 20 minutes to Terminal 9. You'll also want to make sure you have a couple of bucks on you for a tip for the driver. Then you'll be ready for your flight to experience the wonders of Europe. And we'll have more about our trip coming out in the next few days. But otherwise, if you're interested in staying in hotels for free by earning points, check out our selection of hotel credit cards from our partners in the description. Please subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.